Okay, so we will calculate the bulk modulus of elasticity of water at 20 degrees centigrade temperature. So, look at this question. It should be a very uh, straightforward problem. So, it says um, calculate the bulk modulus of elasticity of water at 20 degrees centigrade temperature and pressure required to reduce volume of water by 1%. So, that's really important. Um, we'll just give this um, information in our mind. So pressure required to reduce volume of water by one percent. So, so that's that's the thing. We'll, we'll check it out later. So now look here. Um, so the bulk modulus of elasticity. Um, we can say we can define it is uh, by E. In some book you will see this is E. In some book you will say it is K. So in other words you can say this is the coefficient of compressibility and the, or the bulk modulus of compressibility. So this is actually the formula, uh, negative delta P over delta P by V. So if we just um, try to solve this, so let's say the solution. So we can write the, the bulk modulus E, let's say E, it is uh, a negative delta P, so that's the change of pressure, and this is the delta P over V. So, um, that's actually the formula. We don't need to know actually how it comes, but if we know the final form, that should be fine. Because um, that's our ultimate target. We actually want to calculate E. So, what we need to calculate from this problem here, <coughs> so the bulk modulus of water at 20 degrees centigrade, then what amount of pressure you need to reduce the volume of water by one percent that means you actually need to calculate the pressure that means how much pressure you need to reduce the volume of water by one percent so that's the thing so the volume change um, it is one percent so we can say this is the volume change one percent e it is the bulk modulus so for a specific no, substance it is constant so we have got uh, the water at 20 degrees centigrade so it is a constant value we know so if you search it you will get a list of you know substance and the corresponding bulk modulus of elasticity so here what I will write it down the E that means the the bulk modulus of water at 20 degrees centigrade so we can write E of water at 20 degrees centigrade. This is actually 2.17 10 to the power 6 kPa. In some book, you can see it is 2.15. So it's still it's okay. So you can use whatever you want. So the the bulk modulus of elasticity at 20 degrees centigrade is this, and the volume change. So here delta V over V. What it is? I will say it is the volume of water and we're trying to reduce it so I'll write it is volume of water reduce one by one percent so that means it will be let's say negative one percent because we have some sort of volume now we're trying to reduce it so we need to just subtract this value so it is percentage so if we just remove this percentage we can write it is 1 over 100 or you can see it is um, you can write it as negative 0 0.01 so that's actually we can say delta V over V the volume so now we have this um, and we have E so substitute all the value here so when you will substitute all the value here so it will be like this uh, I like say E it is equal delta P and delta V over V so delta P you know it will be negative E into delta V over V so E is you know one um, 2.17 into 10 to the power 6 kPa and delta V in the volume changes we have got it is negative 0 0.01 so the pressure will see it as let's say 0. Um, zero two one seven 
put into the power 6. Okay. So that's the valve. That's the, the pressure we need. That's definitely kpm. So that's the pressure we need to reduce the volume by 1%. So it is pretty straightforward thing.